Good morning, everybody. I have a different change of venue today. Again, I like to show you my house in all the different ways, so I'm hanging out in the office today. Um, I've got both hands, and you'll get a lot of talking with both of my hands, but anywho, um, I thought with January, and since we're already into the middle of 2018, a uh, couple of weeks in, and just wanted to share and catch everybody up. It's been far too long since we've shared. Um, so many amazing things are going on. I'm pretty sure everybody saw the photos that I posted. Really wanted to be faithful to get those up and just wanted to say again, face to face, just how grateful I am for God's promises, but the fact that he used people and um, I was just constantly amazed at the way that money and finances came through, at the way that prayers came through, at the way that people responded to the fact that mom and dad were here and came out and wanted to meet them and wanted to get to know them. Um, so yeah, it was an amazing time. For those of you who didn't know, it was amazing to me actually how many people commented or thought that I had gone back to the States or um, asked when they would get to see me or ask what mom and dad were doing and saying, have fun while you're back in the States. So yeah, the picture that we took by the Christmas tree with dad in his cowboy hat and mom and dad both in their red was actually the first photo when they landed at Heathrow Airport. We snapped that and... Um, made our way back to base, and then we had three days down on the south coast with the church that we've been working with. The pastor actually disappeared, went and visited her family for um, three days, and just handed us the keys to her beachside flat, which was spectacular. Um, had an amazing time just walking down the coast and resting and getting a bit of quiet before jumping into the craziness of London YWAM bases, where 40 people celebrate, and we cook, and we uh, enjoy together. So three days of quiet. We enjoyed Greek food and a uh, beautiful restaurant on the beach. And um, days were cloudy, but the, the water was beautiful. And I think dad really enjoyed the coast and uh, mom just really enjoyed the peace and quiet and just getting coffee breaks in the morning and just being able to share. Um, yeah, you realize, you know, I'm 30, almost 31 years old and um, when mom and dad are around, you turn back into a kid. Um, it's so funny because, yeah, most of you guys know I'm the oldest of four kids. I've always kind of, I think, done my own thing and grew up really quick just because I wanted to, not because I was forced to, I think. But, um, yeah, it was amazing just to have mom and dad and selfishly get to have all all of the attention. It's so weird. Um, but just being able to mark the days and see dad was so funny. He basically said, I don't want to plan anything. We just go wherever you go. So whether we were going to get scones and tea or whether we went and got coffee or whether we were going to visit palaces or go walk along the coast, he really just said, I want to go wherever you go. And that was crazy, um, to just get to share life here. So we had three days on the coast. We were back in London for about five or six days and then we got to go to Wales, Abergavenny, um, for three days at the end and spent New Year's there for mom's birthday. Just had so many amazing opportunities. You probably saw most of the pictures, but um, I think my favorite part outside of seeing the city and spending time together and coffee dates and, and all of that stuff was actually getting to share the family that I have here with them, um, whether it was in Southwick or Wales or here in London with all brothers and sisters and the YWAM family. Um they got to connect with Jose and Gabby and Jose and Rosana, who are like leaders of the ministry here, and just get to share and really get to connect family and realize that I'm not just alone serving in a foreign country, but I have family and I have relationships and friendships and a lot of people who God, who God has brought into my life that care deeply about me and just recognizing as I shared those relationships with them how much I am loved here and how much God is so good. Um, so I know that a bunch of different people watch these videos, a lot of people from the States that I grew up with and um, that have walked through the journey of me getting here, a lot of people that I've encountered along the way on outreaches and different uh, connections and community, but also people that have walked life with me, whether you're at New Life or whether you're at Gateway Church in Wales or whether you're within YWAM or you've come through the house, um, been a student or been a staff, I just so overwhelmed at eight years of service and eight years of faithfulness to God and serving and loving and connecting. Bah, I can't do anything without crying. Um, it's just amazing to get to share that with them and um, get to see that God has been faithful to take care of me. And uh, yeah, hopefully down the road there will be a husband or children or a close family that God will bring. But I also just recognize his goodness that that's not something that I need or that I have to have because he has been so faithful to take care of me in every way, in every season. Um, and as I mentioned, just provisionally, it was amazing to see 
mom and dad showed up with cash as well to get to enjoy and we bought presents and we bought so many different things for the family and then the tickets were covered and just God provided so much through through you guys, through people who were reading and watching and giving and just wanted to support and um, it's so humbling to think that you guys got to bless us with a holiday. So thanks so much. Um, thanks for being there. Thanks for being real. Thanks for being uh, generous. Thanks for being you. Thanks for praying. Um, so yeah, that's a lot about the Christmas season. I just want to take a couple minutes to look into kind of where we're coming and where we're going. Um, 2018 is going to be a different year. I've been talking to leaders and, and just kind of seeing and praying and talking to God and, and asking what next steps and where, you know, this last year I was a little bit calmer as far as leadership and, um, we were working really steady in Southwick, but as far as schools and, and, um, leading in that aspect, God was really taking me to the background just to learn and grow and see a lot of deeper things, a lot of hard things. So it's been a beautiful year, but it's been a rough year. If you remember some of the posts or some of the videos, or maybe I was a bit quieter. Sometimes it's hard to process those things that are so deep that are happening. And I don't know, when you're living normal life, you don't post on videos and tell people about it. But when you're living missionary life, you want people to be connected when you're um, walking with supporters and sharing and moving. So I'm really excited because I feel like uh, 2018 is, is going to be a season of new beginnings. And um, I'm excited in about a week and a half, um, we're going to be taking a group of staff around for the month of February. So we already have an outreach team. Keep praying for them. They are in Greece. They just arrived last night. So they're going to be there for another five weeks, I think, um, four weeks, something like that. And so they'll come back into February. And we have a group of staff that I'm going to be going with five of us to churches here around the UK to be promoting all of our summer activities and just connecting and sharing. So I'm really excited to just go back to some of these places. We're going to be going to Wales. We're going to go up to Rotherham for a week. We're going to go to Southwick. And then we're also going to be in Nottingham where one of our teams has recently planted a base coming up on a year ago. So I'm just really excited to go down there and, and up there and over there and everywhere on this beautiful island and and just connect to people there, connect to relationships, really build worship and intercession into these communities and just release something fresh and just strengthen and encourage leaders that are working there, connect to a lot of young people and ask them to come around and, and join us in the summer outreaches we're going to be doing. Um, so that's the month of February. Be praying for that. And then um, March, we're going to be around and preparing for the April schools. And so something's crazy is going to happen in April. Um Probably 75% of the staff that live in the house are going to be going on an Argentina outreach, um, really going to the roots and going to family. And, and as I kept praying and really starting to raise funds, and I was kind of like, okay, God, let's do Argentina. He basically kind of kept saying no. And I realized now um, I'm going to be around helping kind of facilitate and kick off the April school this year. So just pray for us coming into that season that everything would align, that the students would be there. We really want to see a lot of students for uh, the Discipleship Training School and the Leadership and Ministry Development School kicking off in April. So yeah, that's where we are right now, just praying that God would um, prepare the way as these months get on. Uh, we also have a couple, of, uh, a couple of our leaders that are in India with the Counseling Ministry School, so they're there for um, a few more weeks, and then they're going to be moving to Germany. So just a lot of stuff, as you know, why when life is crazy and we get our hands into all kinds of different areas that God opens up. So that's kind of everything I was thinking and wanted to share with you guys today. So I hope that you are blessed. And yeah, I'll talk to you soon. Bless you. Ciao.